Dusty Vanderson presents Q&A number one. Yo, what's up guys? Today we're here with another video and this is the Q&A. Yes, the Q&A is finally here. I'm so glad you guys have asked me questions. I never thought I'd really get any questions that um, you'd want to ask me, but thank you so much for all the questions you asked me. I've now reached my um, dream of getting at least 15 questions, so that's very nice that you guys um, thought of me and gave me lots of questions. I really appreciate that, and I look forward to answering them in this video. And while you guys are listening to the answers of your questions, I created a background for you guys. It's McQueen pulling Bessie along with this road I printed out. So I think it's a pretty good background to look at while I'm answering your questions. And let's get right into it. First question asked by Collection TV. If you were forced to drive a real size version of a lemon or a rusty car, which car would you choose? Now I'd probably choose a rusty car because lemons for one hand come defected right off, off, off the factory line. So rusty cars pr pr probably have a less chance of becoming broken down or so because they wore good cars in their past and I don't really think they would break down as easily as like a lemon would because a lemon is as I said defective right after the factory line. Next four questions asked by Diecast Reviews. What is your favorite Cars character? I probably have to go with Fillmore because I can really talk like him well because I find his voice pretty funny. Next question, who is your favorite Cars 2 character? I probably have to go with Finn McMissile because I love all the gadget, gadgets he has on him because it's really representative of James Bond. Who is your favorite Piston Cup racer? Now this is a pretty hard question but I really like Lil Torque Pistons. I really like the red and blue that's on him. I also really like uh, Taco Mix. I really like the gingerbread design on him. Last question. Who is your favorite Lil Grand Prix racer? I really like Jeff Gorvet because I really like the looks of the American flag on his um, paint job. It looks really cool. But our one I really like would be uh, Carlo Veloso. I really think they're very cool cars, but I think Jeff will be my favorite. Now let's go to three questions asked by Dynaco Blue 43 Who inspired you to do YouTube videos? Now this is a pretty good question, but it's really just friends, family, people who encourage me to be myself. I really like to like entertain and like act out, so that was one of the reasons why I decided to make YouTube videos. and. Presenting is pretty fun, and a lot of my YouTube friends like RC Cars 5, Collection TV, Aqua Strike, they all make great videos. You should check out their channels as well. So it's also kind of like I want to be up, be up there at the party and you know, like review cars. It's, it's a fun thing. It's fun seeing other people do it. So heck, why not do it too? Next question: Who is your least favorite Piston Cup racer? Besides Light and McQueen, Chick Hicks, and the King. Now, this is Toad Cab all the way. The reason for it is because not because of his art designs, it's because of what he sponsors. Yeah, I'm sure you might know what I'm trying to talk about, but what I want to say is Pixar, not the best thing to advertise in a kid's movie. So, if you get it, you get it. If you don't, well, I guess you can look it up on the adult wiki, but what I'm going to say is not the best thing to advertise in a kid's movie. He also asked, did you ever have pets in your entire life? I used to have two fish when I was really young, but they have both deceased now. Now let's go on to some questions by Sebastian Mateo. Who are your top five World Grand Prix racers? Now starting from five, I would go Max Schnell, Lewis Hamilton, Rip Klitschkonski, Carl Veloso, and Jeff Gorvet. Who are your top five Piston Cup racers? As again, starting with five, I would go Mood Springs, Rev and Go, Vitaline, uh, Taco Mint, and Lil Torque Pistons. He also asked, which unreleased World Grand Prix racer would you like to see as a neon racer? Now this is a good question. I would choose Jeff Gorvet because I really like the bright neon yellow which was also seen on the neon frosty 
And I think the like the yellow on him goes well with the American flag. Like I love to see the glowing stars on Jeff Corvette and the stars and the stripes. Like it this all goes well together, especially with it looking all like glowing the dark feature. So I probably would choose Jeff Corvette as my answer. Now let's go on to four questions asked by RC Cars 5. What do you have in mind for the future of your channel? Now I hope to con continue making videos and making um, like cars reviews and comedies. It's a really fun thing. I really fell in love with the hobby of making YouTube videos. So I would hope I can um, increase my views and my subscribers, which should be pretty easy with Cars 3 coming out. So it's going to be very fun for collectors and YouTubers alike. We shall see what the future has in store for us. Next question. When you go to college, will you continue to upload? Now, most likely, yes, because I'm going to a junior college my first two years, and it's only about 10 minutes from my house, so I'll still be living at home, and my recording studio will stay the same, so I should be able to get reviews out for you guys. Next question. What are your thoughts on the news we've heard about Cars 3 so far? Now, I'm a little disappointed because I really wanted it to take place on Route 99 because it's in California. I do live in California, so I kind of would want to see, like, things I might be used to seeing, you know? But they're going to racing now, and I feel like it's getting a little repetitive nowadays. That's just my personal opinion, but I'm still looking forward to it, no doubt about that. And the last question, who or what is your biggest motivation in life? Now, this is a pretty good question, and it's pretty similar to another question I, I just answered. It's uh, people around me who inspire me to do my dreams, like friends, family, just anyone who really plays a significant part in my life, whether it's through YouTube or school or working towards my career, whatever I'm engaged in on, on, at the moment and people are encouraging me to do that, that's really my biggest motivation in life as a whole. Now let's go on to some more questions by Sebastian Mateo. Who's your favorite Wings Around the Globe racer? Now, I really like Gunnar Viking because I really like the blue and the yellow that's on him. It really goes well together with his other Swedish counterpart, which is Flash, which was a 2012 Super Chase. So, I really think those colors look really good on, on Gunnar Viking. It really represents the Swedish flag. Next question. Who are your top favorite versions of Dusty? My top three, starting with three going on up. Third would be Supercharged. Uh, second would be Jolly Wrenches, and my first favorite would be, like, my favorite of all time has to be the Night Flyer version. It's just a very raw-looking version, in my opinion. I just love the looks of it. I hope to get to my collection someday. And also, he asked, which Planes movie did you like better? I liked Fire and Rescue better, which a lot of you are going to disagree with me, but... Fire and Rescue was a, a little bit of a different story because I felt Planes 1 was kind of like a, just another version of Cars 2 with international racing and stuff like that. So I'm kind of glad that Disney kind of did something new with the, the franchise as a whole and didn't do a really focus on racing too much and decided to use their imagination somewhere else. So I would have to go with Fire and Rescue as being my favorite Planes movie. Which Super Chase would you like to see as an ice racer besides Frosty and Vitaly? Now, I'd probably go with Emma Rojas Jr. because there's no blue on him and is on the regular version of him. So, I feel it would be kind of interesting to see what an ice racer would look like that doesn't have blue on him to begin with. Because, if you don't know, the colors of the Mexican flag are red, green, and white. So, there wouldn't be any blue on Emma Rojas Jr. So, it would be interesting to see what, the, what an ice racer version would look, uh, look of him. So, that would be my pick. Final three questions asked by Noah Schmidt. Who's your favorite World Grand Prix racer? Now, I know I said Jeff Corvette, but I also really like Carveloso, so let's spice it up and I'll go with Carveloso for this one, because they're, he's, she's just another great racer as well. Who's your favorite Pizza racer out of these five? Now, I like Sage Vanderspin because I like the Gaskets logo. It kind of reminds me of ice cream sandwiches and... I think I better satisfy my ice cream craving right now. <laughs> and lastly, who do you like better, Doug RM or Larry Camper? Now, I like Doug RM more because I love all the flags he has on him. It really shows he's a really dedicated Piston Cup fan, so that's who I like better. And that concludes Q&A number one. 
Once again, thank you for all the questions you've asked me. It really, really means a lot that you guys want to know about me. So anyways, if you want to ask more questions, feel free to do so because I love to make a second Q&A. It'd just be really fun to do it. I've had a lot of fun making the first Q&A and I wouldn't mind making a second one. So if I do make a second one, it probably come out maybe August, September. It kind of depends on my question quantity at the, at the time. But anyway, I hope to look forward. I hope look forward to making more Q and A's in the future. Just ask me questions because I'm willing to answer them. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this Q and A, and I'll see you guys next time as always. Bye now. Sign off.